Peace Capricorn is Sarita here, creator of NaturallyHighLife.com. I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of November. It is Halloween, so I am here about to do your reading. This is a very powerful time, definitely. So what I'm going to do while I have all this beautiful light up in the air and all of that, well, in the sky, we'll go ahead and work with your reading. So here's your very first card. And we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands here is showing that your work, what you're doing in the world, how you're presenting yourself in the world is working out in your favor. It's working out for you. You're moving forward. People are rooting for you. The opposite side of this, you may have some haters in the mix, but as this guy, yeah, there's somebody who is wonderful for working with people who are introverted. He talks about it. He says you can balance, you can measure the amount of success you have in your life according to the amount of haters that you have <laughs> to your hater list. So for some of you who are on top, who are really seeing success and you're, you're pleased with it, right? Because you, you work hard. You have managed to bring in money consistently, but you want more. This is showing that it is happening. The actions you're taking are moving you forward to keep doing that, which is serving you. Next card coming up is the Hierophant card. This is a card symbolizing that you are gaining some huge lessons right now through your work, through you going to school, and that you can rest assured that by next year, this time, you'll be in another place. Your mindset has changed. You have matured. You've grown greatly. And you are willing to sacrifice for what it is that you want. That's what this is showing. It's showing huge maturity here. Next card coming up for you is this card. All right. No matter what, no matter where you are, it shows here with the Knight of Rods, the Knight of Wands, that you are willing to go the distance. If you haven't been before, the energy to do it is here now and is asking you to go forth with it. It's like, are you willing to do it? And if you're looking for a certain type of, you know, like this special thing that you need before you can do it, you have it already. You have it with you. You have the gains. You have the insight. You have the necessary all, all the all the stuff you need you got you got all of it it's there are you willing to go with it it just takes you taking the next step with this thing that you want to do i see love i see passion i see you getting your exercise thing going on metabolism growing getting um like is actually your metabolism is either speeding up or is doing what you want is balancing itself out I saw that with the Knight of Wands. Here we have the Page of Swords. Because this month is going to require you to go a further distance to do more, you will have to have a different sort of mindset than you had possibly last month. So in order to do that, listen to the guidance that is coming to you. You're going to be receiving some messages in your space from someone, someone of authority I'm getting, someone of authority, some figure of authority, some person in a leadership position. It may be your spirit guide speaking to you. It may be something like that, but something is coming to focus for you and that it's calling you to see it. You may be you know, offering advice, your advice, your guidance this month to other people, your wisdom because you have certain realizations that you've come to. And now you're able to see things more clearly. This month, though, by the third week, you may feel indecision. You may feel doubt. You may feel like you don't know what to do next. You may feel like that. You may be having an identity crisis as well because of this here, pulling up this card, okay? This has to do with the need to ground yourself in your reality, ground yourself. And this is the queen of pentacles. So you happen to be an earth sign. Okay. So 
all you gotta do is strengthen and build your own natural energy. If you're a sun, moon, or rising sign, Capricorn, depends on what that looks like for you. But get out in nature, do something, bring something in from nature, balance out, build up that earth energy. And just, you know, that's what you have. You've got that. We've all got earth somewhere in our chart. And so all you want to do is strengthen that energy to see more of the abundance, the prosperity, things like that in your life, okay? Next card coming up for you is this card, okay? And this is the Three of Swords. So your lack of focus that had to do with your work or putting in so much work, it may have taken a toll in your love sector here. Shifting that mindset is going to make all the difference. Some things are going to stay like they are, but I see a huge change taking place in your love sector of your life. This is not going to be for everybody. And this does have to do with working so hard. It's a feeling, it's, it's a necessary need here to come down, come down to earth, to come off the horse, and to have a good time to celebrate all the hard work. All of the hard work that you've already put in, you know, come down and celebrate what you've done already. And don't be so serious. Come down and have fun, enjoy, go to the park, be in the moment, you know, read a book together, do something. Okay, and this may be a best friend that you have. This may be somebody who is a friend online. This may not be a lover. But it may be somewhat, but I do see some of you having a friend and you all are starting to see each other differently. And you're beginning to think about coming together with another person. This is going to be somebody that you know already. Your final outcome card for the month is this card here. So if you have been feeling like things can change, well, this is here to show you that it can. Coming out of a hard time, bad, feeling like you've had the short end of the stick, bad luck, things haven't been working for you. One minute you're up, one minute you're down. That's what that earth energy is necessary for, to balance out your energy. Just to balance it out. Don't worry about it. You can do it. One minute you're up, one minute you're down, or somebody doing that in your space that you know you may be like their caregiver, if you will. The person may be exhibiting some things that you know they need to go get some professional help. Someone may be over uh, drinking. They may be doing something to the ex to uh, in an excess, trying to um, erase pain or not feel adverse things that are happening in their life right now. This is telling you ups and downs happen. It's all right to get out in nature and get some healing. That's your reading for the month. Thank you so much for listening to this. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being there with me. And um, I hope you're enjoying your Halloween and your day, your month of November. And my name's Sarita. My website is naturallyhighlife.com. If you want to contact me for a reading, I'm here for you. Let's talk. Leave me a voicemail on my website as well, and I'll talk to you soon. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, and like, subscribe, and share this video too.